Hi dear viewers, welcome to another video tutorial of this YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on question number 9, which is coming from the ACZ examination for school certificate ordinary level addition of mathematics paper 1. And the question that we're going to be interested in in today's tutorial, it is question number 9, which falls under modulus of trigonometric equations. So let's try to check where the question is located in this paper. So this paper was for the internal candidates. Let's try to check. So there's a mathematics formulae. Okay, so this is uh, the page that contains question number nine which we are interested in in today's tutorial. It is uh, this page and the question that we're interested in, it is question number nine, that is the question that we're interested in. So the question itself, it carries five marks, it has five marks. So let's try to go through this question. This question, it is saying that find all the angles between zero degrees and 360 degrees, which satisfy the equation modulus of four tan x minus two is equal to three. So this is uh, the question that we uh, that we're interested in. Let's now quickly get into the solving. But before I get into the solving, I would like to remind you that you should subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you are always updated with the latest information on this YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to comment so that we can hear out your views. And also, don't forget to share so that others can also enjoy the tutorials of the, of additional mathematics. And also, don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up so now let's now quickly we went uh, we went through this question so the next thing that we're going to do is that we are going to get into the solving and we are simply going to start by writing that same equation that we're given which is a modulus of 4 tan x minus minus 2 is equal to 3 so you need to understand you need to know what they mean when they say modulus what they mean when they say modulus is that you you need to keep this in mind that it means that it will have something like this it will be 4 tan x so it will be seen on two sides number one the first side it will be 4 tan x minus 2 is equal to 3 or it will be seen on this view which is 4 tan so because of the modulus it will be seen on two views number one it is 4 tan x minus 2 is equal to 3 or 4 tan x minus 2 is equal to negative 3 this is simply because of the modulus that we have so this is simply because of the modulus function that we have. So we're going to solve this separately. So we're starting with this one, which is 4 tan x minus 2 is equal to 3. So we're going to solve this one. The way we're going to solve this one, we're simply going to start by writing 4 tan x. And we're going to make we're going to make 2, negative 2, go to the right hand side, and it will be 3 plus 2. So in such a case, when you do the calculations, it will be 4 tan x is equal to 5. And we are simply going to make tan x the subject. So we're going to say, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 4. So when you divide on the right hand side, it will be 5 over 4. And then on the left hand side, it will be 4 over 4. And 4 divided by 4, it is simply 1. And 1 times tan x, it is simply tan x so it will be tan x is equal to 5 over 4 and what uh, the next step that we're going to take is that we're going to make x the subject and how are we going to make x the subject we're going to make uh, we're going to take the inverse of tan on both sides of the equation so we're going to have x is equal to tan inverse or 5 over 4 so that's the thing that we're going to consider so it will be x is equal to tan inverse of 5 over 4 
and turn inverse of 5 over 4, it will give you the value of 51.3409175 degrees. And according to the instructions that were given, we're given that if you are dealing with angles, you need to round off to one decimal place. You need to round off to one decimal place. So x is equal to 51.3 degrees. Now, is this O? Is this uh, O? Is uh, this the one? So you need to keep in mind that you need to find all the angles. According to the question, we're given that find the, uh, find all the angles. So how are we going to find the next angle? We're going to consider the quadrants. So we're going to consider the quadrants. So we have the first quadrant, and then we also have the second quadrant, and then we also have the third quadrant, and then we also have the fourth quadrant. So the way you can know this one, you can just simply say, oh, students takes chemistry so all students take chemistry that's the way that you are going to consider uh if uh, you easily forget that's the way that it, uh, that is going to help you you can just simply say all students take chemistry so all it is representing that it is implying that all It is simply implying that oh, it can be tan, it can be cos, it can be sine. All of them are positive. And then in the second quadrant, S is representing sine. It means that sine is the one which is positive and all these are negative. It can be cos and tan. So cos and tan in the second quadrant are negative. And then let's go to the third quadrant. T is simply representing tan. And tan is positive in the third quadrant, meaning that the others are negative. Sine and cos in the third quadrant are negative. And then in the fourth quadrant, we have in the fourth quadrant we have C, which is representing cos, meaning that all these others, which are tan and sine, are negative in the fourth quadrant. So this is the way you can easily get this one. And then what happens in the second uh, in the second quadrant in the second quadrant it is simply 180 degrees minus theta fourth quadrant we have 360 degrees minus theta in the fourth quadrant it is 360 degrees minus theta so we're going to uh, we're going to use this one now when you check is tan positive yes it is positive tan is positive according to uh, to the way that we used to solve this one tan is positive so what are we going to do we're going to consider this one which is 180 degrees plus theta and that is in the third quadrant so the next the other angle that we have it is 180 degrees plus theta and our theta it is 51.3 degrees so when you consider that one it will give you the value of 231 point three degrees so to that one point three degrees it will also give you the same value it will also give you the same value and tan will be positive so that is the other angle that we have and then let's also go to the next one which is uh, tan x so we are done with the first uh, with the first view which is 4 tan x minus 2 is equal to 3. We have found the two values of the angles. So let's go to the next view, which is 4 tan x minus 2 is equal to negative 3. So the next view is that we're going to, the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to consider this one. We're going to say 4 tan x is equal to negative 3 plus 2. We're going to take negative 2 to the right hand side just as we did with the first view so in such a case it will be 4 tan x is equal to negative 1 the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to make tan x the subject we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 4 so it will be like that so on the left hand side 4 divided by 4 it will give you positive 1 it will give you 1 4 divided by 4 and then on the 
uh, and then when you divide 4 divide by 4 it will simply give you 1 and 1 times tan it will give you tan x and there it will just be like that so the next thing that we're going to do is that we are going to make x the subject we're going to make x the subject and it will be like tan so tan inverse it will be tan inverse of positive 1 over 4 so we have removed the negative we have removed the negative we are going to see how the negative will work so it's not that it is a mistake so in such a case we have x is equal to tan inverse of 1 over 4 and then when you do that one, when you do the calculations, then inverse of 1 over 4, it will give you 14.036 degrees like that. It be 14 degrees. So because of that negative, remember we removed the negative when we were doing the calculations, we did not say that tan inverse of negative 1 over 4. Because if you are not careful in such a way, you are going to get a wrong answer. So that is the reason why we removed the negative as we were doing our calculations so it will be tan inverse of 1 over 4 and then when you do the calculations it will give you 14 degrees so now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are simply going to say tan inverse we are going to say it was it was negative it was negative tan now we're going to consider the quadrants where is tan negative so in the first quadrant all are positive so the first quadrant it can be the first quadrant and then in the second quadrant we have s sine is the one which is positive meaning that tan and cos are negative so the second quadrant we have the second quadrant which is uh, correct and then we also have the third quadrant the third quad uh, the third quadrant is saying that tan is positive now when you check that one it is uh, the tan is tan is negative so the third quadrant does not agree but when you go to the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant cos is positive meaning that sine and tan are negative so we are going to consider the fourth quadrant so we have the second and third quadrant so we're going to say 180 degrees minus theta and 360 degrees minus theta so the first one we have we're going to replace theta with 14 degrees the one that we found which is uh, 14 degrees so it will be 180 degrees minus 14 degrees and it will give you the value of 166 degrees and then we also have another one which is uh, 360 degrees minus theta so another one it is 360 degrees minus theta so our theta it is one uh, it is 14 degrees so when you subtract it will give you the value of 346 degrees so these are our answers so this is how you're supposed to score marks in an exam room you even write therefore x is equal to 51.3 degrees and also 231.3 degrees so this is how it will be so these are our answers so you even say therefore x is equal to 51.3 degrees to 31.3 degrees 166 uh, degrees 34.6 degrees so degrees so this is how we are supposed to score marks in an exam room i hope you are clear and i hope you haven't forgotten to subscribe to like to share and to comment on this youtube channel see you to another video tutorial thank you for watching